All right, I want a review of all things completely over my wheelhouse, or out of my wheelhouse, whatever you want to say. My new Ashley Bladen, I believe, sofa. Hold on. Let me... Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. Hold on one second, I have to go in the kitchen and turn some meat on the fucking pan or something. <laughs> Okay, so I needed a new sofa. I had a couple of green, uh, they're not here to show you, but they were like green microfiber sofas. And um, I got them from, I don't remember where, Big Lots. <laughs> when I moved into this house about 10 years ago, so they're about 10 years old, and um, they were getting all They were getting all dirty, nasty, and I just hated them. After and it just kind of came on me, maybe like a year or two ago. Like I hate these couches. I need to, maybe a few months ago. They were just old, and I've been sitting in that spot right there a lot, and it had made kind of depressed the sofa after a while. Like the cushions in the in the back were like pushed down. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but and. Um, and right over there was a green love seat of the same kind, matching self and love seat. So I ended up just throwing them away, and this is what I got. It's called an Ashley Bladen. Ashley, I guess, is the brand. And then it's called Bladen, like a B L A D E N, I think, sofa. And the color is called coffee. It's kind of a brown. And normally I don't like any kind of brown, but I actually like this. Like, this is like the one kind of brown or uh, cherry type color that I like. I don't, it's not really cherry at all. Cause it's not that dark. It's coffee. I really like the color. And um, it costs two ninety nine at Nebraska Furniture Mart. They have one uh, in Dallas near me. So I got it. Uh, they, they, they're very hard to find. Like, a lot of stores don't have them. And uh, some stores carry it for like four twenty nine. Nebraska Furniture Mart has it for two ninety nine. Um, so it's a great deal in my opinion. Yeah, it's not the best couch in the world. It's a two hundred ninety nine dollar couch, but um, it worked. I like the material. That's what really drew me to it. It kind of has this little bit of a faux leather, I guess, type of hard material. Kind of not hard, hard, but you know what I mean. Like a little material to it instead of like this nasty microfiber. So that's what I really liked about it. Um, I did a lot of research. It was pretty highly reviewed. We'll see how it holds up. It's a $300 couch. I mean, I'm not expecting miracles. One thing that all the, um, I read a lot of user reviews as always whenever I buy something, I research the user reviews good. People were complaining that, oh, the cushions, every time you get up, you have to push the cushions back. It's really annoying. That was, you know, the couch is pretty highly rated by reviewer users, or I wouldn't got it. But, um, that was a consistent complaint of some people. Um, and they, some of them I noticed they have, like, the Velcro under the seat, under the cushions. So, like, a little patch of Velcro, like, uh, like right here, and then a little patch of Velcro, like, right here, and then a little patch of Velcro, right here. So they would stick to the bottom, I guess, to prevent that problem of the cushion sliding out that people keep complaining about in the user reviews. Not all of them, you know, but a few. But, honestly, I've only had it a few hours in the house, but I haven't... It doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. And if it worse comes to worse, I'm just going to have some sticky Velcro and double-sided tape type of thing you can get it at Home Depot. I had it for some other projects. But if worse comes to worse, I'll just stick some of that under the cushions and also on the base of the couch as well. That should help, or that should work. But, uh, like I said, so I don't know if it's supposed to come with, but I haven't really seen a problem with, like, since I've had it these few hours, like, people are exaggerating, saying, like, every time you get up, you have to push the cushions back in, it's really annoying. Some people like to complain about anything. I haven't noticed that at all. You know, the cushions fit in there pretty good, pretty, pretty stiffly. Not a problem, in my opinion. 
So yeah, longevity, I can't talk about that. One interesting thing is it doesn't have legs, it just sits on the floor, which is kind of good because on my last couch, things would kind of, you know, anytime you drop something, it could like roll under there or something. And plus like bugs get under there a lot or whatever, you know. Whereas this guy sits flush to the floor, so it's a little lower and smaller, I think, than my old couch, a little bit. But it, it's plenty fine, it's a good size. So yeah, for $2.99, I'm happy with it. Ashley Bladen and coffee. <laughs> um, now, I've always done like a matching her. I did like a matching couch and love seat last time. So I Googled like, I was wondering how important it is it to have the matching couch and love seat that I used to have. And all these websites were saying, oh, it's not important at all. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Or, like, you know, it's actually a sign of tackiness. Like, who does that anymore? Like, a lot of them were saying, get some accent chairs instead of a love seat. So that's what I did because I didn't. Like, if I move, I'm probably going to move to an apartment or something. Um, I'm always thinking about it. So if I do that, it'll be a whole lot easier to just move a couch than a couch and a love seat. You know? And uh, so I just got a couple chairs. And these chairs I'm also reviewing today. And these are the chairs. These are, you can search them, they're Overman brand, I believe. I think it's called Overman. They're just a Chinese brand, you know. They sell a lot of, I first noticed them on Walmart's website, they were like a bestseller, and they were highly rated by the customers. They had like a four and a half stars with a lot of reviews, so I knew they were pretty decent. And yeah, they're cheap. They're 100, and, I got them for 109 at Nebraska Furniture Mart also, because Walmart couldn't ship them to me till like August 3rd or something. Well, my had a little grayer color I liked better, but um, these are fine, you know. I think they call it top or something. <laughs> and uh, they're just, they're, they're light, they feel kind of cheap and light, but they actually when you sit down on them, they feel good, you know, they're, they're comfortable. And it, you can always put like a pillow or something if you don't think they're comfortable. But to me, they're comfortable, I'm not picky. So yeah, that's what I got there. They're great, you just screw the legs on the bottom, and you're done. And they're 110 bucks. You can't get anything for 110 bucks. So I got two of them, of course, to kind of take the place of my love seat or however you want to put it. Yeah, I like them. The, um, I got those at Nebraska Furniture Mart too. The good thing was I could get everything at once, and they actually had them in stock. You know, I would have got a different color, but these is like one of the only colors they had in stock. Besides, I think like blue. <laughs> and these look reasonable. So yeah, 110 bucks for the chairs and 300 for the couch. Altogether, it's like 520. Now, after you add in tax, $20 in gas to go to Dallas, 20 to probably 10 to 15 dollars in tolls and Dallas toll roads, you know, <laughs> it's going to be 600 plus dollars easy. But you know, look at what are you going to do. I really like how everything looks in my house now. I got these nice bar stools. I really like. I'm really into this light colored furniture nowadays. Love this type of color. This type of color on my coffee table, which I think I got from Target. Um, I may not even have that anymore, but I really like that light color. I really like this coffee table. It doesn't have the drawer like my old one, which is kind of annoying. I hate anything cherry colored now. I'm kind of bummed a little bit about my uh, entertainment center just because I got it in cherry. And because I got it for like 30 bucks, I'm happy with it because I used to have like a 65 inch TCL TV. But I used to have like a overhanging like stand. And I agree, I hate it because I just. You know, I felt like I couldn't move it if I wanted or to clean it behind it. It was just a pain. So I got rid of that and I got one of these cool stands. You can get them at Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks. And they basically let you put your TV on any shelf, you know. Like this entertainment center is not rated for like a 65 inch TV. But you know what? It works just fine, you know. It works just fine. It might be a little iffy if you had like little kids running around. But other than that, it works fine. Like I said, you can get this stand like 20 bucks or 30 bucks at, tar at uh, Amazon and then this I got you can get a lot of places I think Walmart Amazon wherever for like 30 and I wish I got the light color but it was like 50 at the time I just didn't want to spend that but now I wish I had you know because I'm going to look at this thing for the rest of my damn life <laughs> and I just hate cherry color now but this is actually not a bad cherry color because it's really dark it's almost like black so yeah and that's all my stuff my Xboxes my TG16 Mini my Sega Genesis Mini some Xbox games router I, put, I dragged my 360 out i hate the freaking plug uh, what do you call it? power supply um my little raspberry pi i've got a tangle of wires i need to clean that up i'm gonna work on that next 
So yeah, I really like how my house, I got my nice little Chromebook X2 and my Samsung Galaxy S6, Tab S6, I'm probably going to do a review on, and my Dolby Atmos uh, sound system speakers and sound bar and the other speaker. So yeah, I really like these, just, I guess it's a friend, and I'm also really happy with my table, which I got this at Walmart, of all places. <laughs> And I got that for like 210 or 20 a few years ago, and it's a good, 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 real solid table. Um, I got the table for like 100, and then all the chairs were like 140 more or something. But I got like out the door for like 250, a solid wood table, you know, it's big. So, yeah, I'm really happy with uh, everything, my furnishings, and it's Ashley Blade and Sofa. I can't do a long term review, but you know, for now, I love it for the price. Love it, you know. And these chairs are pretty nice too. They're not super, super, super soft and comfortable, but they are plenty comfortable. And they're nice and they're real light. You can move them around easy. So yeah, I recommend all that stuff.